Well, they may be the most secretive country on Earth, but they sure know how to put on a show. This was Saturday night's Torch Parade, featuring tens of thousands of people running in sync with real-life torches through the spitting rain on slippery Kim Il-sung Square. We watched mesmerized. Also watching was Kim Jong-un, North Korea's 30-something ruler who had quite a day of parades. Earlier Saturday, he presided over perhaps the biggest ever ceremonial display of military might in modern North Korean history. One of the things that you can't quite appreciate when you see this on television is with all of this goose stepping, while you're standing here, the ground is shaking. This was saber rattling on a grand scale. Kim made it clear in a speech Saturday that America should take note. Kim called the U.S. a tyrant and said the DPRK was ready to defend itself if provoked. After the parade, this 36-year-old railway worker told us seeing Kim Jong-un in person for the first time gave her butterflies. And she added she felt safe seeing the massive show of force. I'm an American. What do you think about that? I didn't know you were an American, she giggled. You're not as evil as what I've read about in books. Well, it is rare for Americans, even more so for American journalists, to be granted access. The price of admission for foreign journalists entering North Korea is that the government decides exactly what you see. We're taken to tourist sites with absolutely no news value and to subway stations built decades ago. Though even here, amid the out-of-date details, you glimpse just how significant the government's role is in everyday life, be it leaders' pictures on subway cars or even on pins. As Americans, we hear that life in North Korea is difficult. D does it feel that way to you? No, we're living a really happy life, Cho Chul Yong said. There's no mafia here. There's no burglary here. There is a strong government. At least that's what they wanted us to see. In this carefully stage-managed production, it can be hard to tell when the show begins and when it ends. So after the spectacle of this weekend's massive military parade, there was something almost refreshing about seeing what came next, picking up the trash. Now that at least seemed real.